Feels like love. Cupid made a shot. Hi guys, how's everybody doing today? I'm Crystal. If you don't know, welcome. Uh, welcome to my channel. If you haven't, go ahead and hit that subscribe or give it 20 minutes. And then if you like it, hit it then um, and give it a thumbs up. So today we're going to talk nail charms. Um, and nail charms like kawaii charms, flat backs, pointed backs all these beautiful little things that we get in that are tiny and kind of just don't know how to store them where you could find your stuff. I think that's the big thing about storage and organization. I probably have hundreds of little things, right? They come, they're small, they're little tiny things, right? And I kind of have an idea of where everything is and I know if I needed that, I'm like, okay, this is where I would go to find that. And I think that's the biggest thing that we need in our nail studios is to have a system that where we buy this stuff we can be able to be like oh yeah that would be great so this is the c category or area i would go in to find whatever that particular thing is and i think it's hard especially if you're just not naturally like an organized zing person you know what i mean not to say you're not organized in life and you, you know your dresser looks cute and how things are but i'm talking the little tedious things like labeling stuff in your bathroom and <laughs> having drawers for certain little items that's kind of how I am and that's how my house is. It's kind of crazy, but if you open the bathroom cupboard, it's gonna have band-aids, ointments. It's a lot, but that's something I get satisfaction from. So I'm gonna show you a few different ways how I organize my stuff. Now, I have, I don't wanna say I have it, but like I have this little thing of where like I like things to be a certain way and that's not for everybody. And Doing it my way does not mean it's the right way or that it's going to work for you because your brain works different than my brain. But I think we can come together and find solutions for the main stuff that we use. And I have a couple different ideas that would work great, I think. I just personally might not use that for myself because I like this specific thing and I've chosen to go that route. And then I think, and also we have to think, right? Not everybody or everybody pocket, sorry, <laughs> pocketbook is different. And also, it's not even just about like the dollar of things. Things are expensive. Life is expensive right now just to survive, let alone buying containers to put other containers in and stuff like that, right? But it's about finding the stuff too. And I think that's even the biggest thing. I live in Canada, Toronto, Ontario, so I can find stuff where somebody in the States might not be able to get it because of stores or just not the same thing, or it's ridiculous. I've seen so many great things in the States, uh, Amazons and stuff like that or been sent to me and I either can't find them like the links don't work or it's a ridiculous amount of money that I'm just not willing to invest right so I think that's the big thing and that's what I want to talk about so I want to talk about different storage ideas from Dollar Tree to Michaels to like for my sense like home sense stuff like that um, I'm pretty sure you guys have home sense and stuff like that in the states as well and so those are kind of stores, um, or Ross, I think I hear that, so that name a lot, like that's like a, kind of like I think like a Marshalls type of thing. So we're going to talk containers. What I want to talk first is just different storage ideas and how I do mine. And then we're going to talk containers and then I can put you guys overhead and then we're going to go through how I organize a lot of my different charms. So you're going to get a sneak peek of like all my charms basically not every single one but I have a good stack there that I definitely want to go through because there is a reason and point to it so it's a lot this video is gonna be a lot um, grab a snack grab a cup of tea I don't know a pop whatever a juice whatever tickles your fans or water um, it's gonna be low because we have a lot to go over so first things first I'm gonna as I have you guys here I want to show you my systems so, so what I think could be great ideas um, I use it for glitter but we're not gonna go into how to do glitter and stuff I just put my glitter drawers I do have this idea I think that would work great for glitter um, it could maybe work for charms there's like a, a spice rack thing that I got from my um, from Amazon it's in my kitchen with my spices, but I feel like for small spaces, it's a great little thing. I don't know. I might just like, maybe if I feel it works, I'll add it in right here. I'll cut it in, show you it to you. And then if not, we're just going to continue this because I don't know if I'm going to show it or not. I don't know. I think it would work though for those people that buy really bulk glitter. 
I'm not one, I try not to get big, big bags, but I know there's people, and it just reminded me when uh, I watched Nats' live the other day. Go check her channel out. Um, and she just has this bookcase full of like glitter and glitter and I'm like wow that would actually this would be a great way to organize that like that like that's how my brain works when I see stuff I'm just like oh organize how could I do this and ooh glitter and ooh this it's really weird but that's how my brain goes so a lot of the stuff is behind me the, I'm gonna show you a little bit of drawer system my other big ones that I use a lot these these just sit in a drawer they're stacked up in a drawer I label the sides so I know what's in them. It's easy to kind of look and find and grab and pull it. So I'm going to turn you around and show you this system here. And then we're going to pull you overhead and we're going to go over containers first and then get into the nitty gritties. So let's get started. Okay, so I know this is weird and you're in my kitchen, but I wanted to show you this. So this is a spice rack, right? It fits perfectly in here, small spaces. So I got this from Amazon and I'm pretty sure you can stack it on top of each other. So another one, but they pull out like this and that's like, they literally will just hold there if you really want, like it's really neat. So I thought for the people to get really big glitters and you probably could get cheaper jars than this. These are just Amazon glass ones, but you can get them from Amazon as well. And then you could store like your more glitters that you have a lot of, right? So I don't know and I did look to see how many it holds about six of those little 10 gram pots if you were to stack them all up that could be a different way but I just thought that like this was such a cool little thing that I feel like it could really work for something other than spices and it'd be easy to like store in small spaces it's just really cool I don't know I was in bed and I thought of that and I wanted to show you guys so all right okay so I just wanted to show you that quickly I know it has nothing to do but I really think the people that buy bulky like bulk, glitter and bulk that get like the 50 gram pots or bags like I feel like that would really be work I don't know why I was in bed and I thought of that so I just wanted to show you it is not the cheapest thing though so I was hesitant to show you um on Amazon but I can if you want the link just ask me but anyway so let's talk this shelf this is like a nice big wall of little containers now all these containers are from dollar tree and they're individual little containers and i'll show you up close a little bit better of that later and don't get me wrong i do have to go through and re label all of these um whatever labels on it matches right now but since i moved i just this is something i haven't tackled and we will tackle that one day but it's still organized for what it is right but for instance, this does not have a label, which it should have a label for metal pieces. So one day we'll get to that project. But I organize mainly glitter in here. Um, I like to put all my fine glitter and these little pots. Now, these little pots are like five gram pots. Sometimes you get these and I keep them um, if I get a chunky glitter in it. I did. I have a link for you guys. I think it's only in the States. I can't find it in Canada. So a good, um, a good friend, she actually got the link for me because it's, sometimes I feel like they don't show you the same things on the, um, when I go into the US site. So thank you and shout outs to you Jess for that. Um, so I'll have a link for pots kind of like that, but they would work great for crystals as well. So you can fit, I think 16, um, yeah, you can fit 16 of those little pots in here. So that's quite a bit. And even here, for instance, I have my pixie crystals in there. So all these are just different color pixie crystals. Work perfect. So I do house some other stuff in here as well. So, but like I said, you, if you, you're just growing your charm sets and you're just growing that stuff or you don't have the drawers, you, you can create pull drawers. And all I did is just double-sided tape these together and put them in um, rows. And then they're there perfect. Like, what more could you ask for, right? A dollar a piece, not too bad. Well, I don't know, it's Dollar Tree now, so what is it, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty? Frig. Um, so these pots here, these are ten gram pots, and I have some pigments in this, but um, so you can only fit six ten gram pots in here. I don't think that you could get seven at all truths. Oh yeah, you could. So we can get seven. Yeah, you're only gonna get seven, but Hey, seven big pots isn't that bad either. You probably could get a couple small pots if you wanted to go that route, if you just had a little extra, right? So 10 gram pots do fit pretty good. 
Now for the littler guys, I do keep some stuff in these, not a lot in all truth. I really don't prefer these little containers, but they're out there and they're options and they do work for some stuff. I do have stuff that works well for these glitters and then I don't really like it. But this came in this little pot and it's, I think it's just a reflective glitter collection. So I was like, you know what, that's perfectly fine. That's not big enough for me to transfer to a 10 gram pot. If I were to buy two of these now, um, yeah, for sure I would transfer them. I used to do that all the time with sheen glitters. But for one, I wouldn't waste a 10 gram pot, right? So that could work too if you keep your little ones. And then here, what are you going to get me? Oops. I think we can get 12. Did we say 12? No, hold on. Will you fit there? Okay, so yeah. We could get definitely get 12 of those little pots in there. So that's pretty good as well. Now, I use this again for these style. I keep them in there. They would just go in there. And I put whatever it is, fine glitter. I know there's one I have for pigments too somewhere. Some pigments. So... You can use them for different things. Um, I put like my big like shaped glitters. Like I said, I'm using this as an example. I'm not really, we're not doing a glitter thing here, but that's just what I have in them. But you can use these for little charms and stuff too. So I'm just giving examples of what you can use these for and what containers I personally like and then some that I don't like. So for instance, these little guys I would keep in here too. I would keep them in the container they came in I don't really want to mix them, they're already individual colors. That's not that crazy for me to grab, and I would store them in something like one of these little drawers. Now, moving down a little bit, these containers here are from Michaels. They're made for, I think, little construction paper or something. And I use mine for all my VDD flatback crystals. And I'm not going to go into these. I'm going to make a separate video with this, um, with these crystals because I do have, I think I have majority of them and I just got this in. So I really want to go through and show you all the different colors and like what colors I like and kind of stuff like that. And then the different shapes. So we'll do that one day, but that's, we're not going to get too in depth in that today, but let's talk flat backs. So I personally, because these are all VDD, I leave them in this storage system, and I like that because it's easy for me to grab. They're my they're my main flat backs. So here are all 10 gram pots. And they do have the names on them of what they are. And this for 10 gram pots, I think it can hold I think 56. I don't even remember what I said. I wrote it down though. Oh yeah, so 56. So you can get 56 pots, 10 gram pots in one of these contain or well, yeah, one of these drawers. And you get three drawers. So that's off what 168 um pots that you could get if you wanted to use something like this as your storage system. And that's the 10 gram. So imagine if you were okay with using the little five grams. And to be honest, you could double up. You could definitely put one on top of the other. If that's something you wanted to do, you do have the room for that, or a taller 20 gram pot. So these are great storage containers too. Like I said, I got them from Michaels. I will link everything that I possibly can. I do see these sometimes on uh, like HomeSense, but they're not this big. This is a pretty large um, container, like I said. I don't have the measurements. I have a video out that I showed you guys when I bought these in my last house. So they're pretty large. They do go pretty far back. And then, like I said, you can store a lot of different stuff in them. I do have like my potted gels in mine that I use for, um, sorry, that I made and then all my GD Cocos. So you can get a lot out of that, right? Even if you have one and you can stack it on top if you want to eventually get a second. So I'm going to show you this drawer too. Now I use these little containers. These little containers are just from Ikea. There we are. And I think they're like 50 cents or something, or maybe not even. These might have been like 20 cents, these little guys. I can't remember, but they're so affordable. And I put them in this Alex drawer as kind of like a little box um, organizational system. So for me, I put like my seashells in them, and I do use those little pots for seashells because usually you don't get a lot, and I don't really want to mix all the colors. So 
that's kind of one way I do it. Now, if you had crystals, like I said, again, that would work great to put your little crystals. And I would just color, court the, color coordinate them kind of how I have here. So here I have like my light pinks. Or sorry, my light more whites and stuff. And then here I have like blues and purples. These are just mainly light pinks and dark pinks. You know what I mean? So they're, they're kind of a little color coordinated for what I have. I don't have a lot of each color, but I kind of did it that way. Um, again, sometimes I put the 10 gram pots for larger sequences and stuff. That's how I store them. Sometimes they just hold the one, two little things, right? These little guys I also like to store in here. Something like this. I would do it if I get them. Now, all depends on what they are if I keep them in these. For instance, all these little guys, they're individual like that. I would keep them in there because it's just easier to grab them. You could mix them all together and then put them in a 10 gram pot as well. I've done that. That works perfectly fine as well. But something like this, I kind of like it just to keep it in there. And then sometimes you get like these little guys. Realistically, as soon as this gets open, it's going to be all kind of mixed. You can tell it's already kind of mixing together. This I would just dump all in one pot and then you kind of pick and get what you want out of it. Eventually, probably like I said, as soon as I open that, that's probably exactly what will happen to it for now. It's just going to live its life here. And then they are nicely just stored in one of these little guys. And you do get to fit quite a bit. They do sell bigger ones of these. So you can have it like, this is an example here. You can have it so you have like the longer ones. They have longer ones, which would work good for these little containers that I personally don't like. Only some stuff I keep in this. You can line them up back there. Right, if you're into the clear acrylic, I will show you a different one that, um, again, you get that from Dollar Tree or Dollar Rama though. So, like I said, you could do bigger ones if you have bigger collections of stuff that would work great, I think, as well. And then, whew, here again, this is where all my other big ones they fit in these Alex drawers. Great, these are like the desk legs that we, we normally see, and I think I can get like about 15 of these in one of those drawers, roughly. But I'll put the number up on the screen because I'll count it after it. I don't have enough of them in there right now. And again, a couple more, but we're not going to go through. I don't think we need to go through all of that. So we turn, yeah, I'm working on this. What? Why do my lips like do this? It's probably that like um, pomegranate juice that I've been drinking in the morning. I feel like it just like makes my lips go so red. I'm sorry. That was way off, way off topic. Um, yeah, so that's the storage systems that I use. I do have also another drawer. So sorry, I forgot to show you that drawer. Oops, so dry. Let me show you. It's kind of messy right now because I have a lot of things out on my desk. But let me... So here I have this drawer. Now, this drawer holds, like, your little fluff balls there. Your, um, <laughs> kawaii stuff. There's a lot of kawaii stuff, I feel like, probably more in this drawer. Some of my mixed charms that are not VDD that I just have in different um, containers. But like my Fimos, stuff like that. So that's kind of what lives in this drawer. Um, like I said, I do have most of that on my desk right now because I want to show you guys. If you can see my desk, I have so much because like I guess this, this is going to be a pretty in-depth video. And I want it to be because I want it just to be able to help you go back, rewatch it, get ideas, think what works for you. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm hoping that this will come in handy. So I do have a lot of stuff on my desk because there's a lot to go through and different storage systems. So now I'm going to go in and we're going to talk different containers that I like to use for different things. And then we're going to go in and look at the crystals. So let me set you up a different way and we'll get back and keep this video going. Okay, guys. So now let's go ahead and talk containers. There's a million of them, right? So I do want to just go over a few of the ones that I like and what serve purpose for me because that's honestly all I can really talk about. I can't say something works for me if I've never tried it. So we have a few different things. Some I have empty ones for examples to show you guys. Some I don't so I'm going to have to just grab the ones that I have things are, um, sorry, things in. So I'll just use that as that example. This and this and also these two so like i said we have a lot to go through today guys so let's start with the basics the three pots that i use in my studio i 
either transferred to a pot, it might come in the pot. That always works out great when it does. Or if it comes in bags or whatever, then I transfer them into pots. So this is your standard five gram pot. I do guys have you out a little bit, I hope that's okay, but I want you to see everything. So this is your typical five gram pot. We see this a lot, a lot of glitters come in these um, little shells, little things like that. So these are usually what we get a lot of the times. Sorry, sorry guys. But I don't find they work that great for a lot of things, for me personally. But if you're okay with the little, little guys, like, I like the ones that have the shapes on it, they're a little easier to hold, instead of the ones that are just little circles. So I usually try to keep the ones with the shapes, so it does make it a little easier for me. But like I said, that's just me being a little picky. These little guys, as you've seen, I hold my caviar beads, my pixie crystals in them, uh, fine glitters, um, some some different like um, shape glitters and stuff like that. So these work well for me for that. And this is the majority. This holds the majority of my nail art. This will hold pretty much 90% of my nail charms. This holds 99% of my glitters. Like I said, this is just for fine glitters and sugaring glitters and little things like that. Um, if it comes in this glitter, if I only bought one, then it stays in that. I don't mix, I don't put it over to something else. That's fine. But we're not really on here for glitter, so. Um, yeah, so this is the biggest, this is like my go-to. And this is a 10 gram pot. I get them from Amazon. You can get them in hundreds, fifties, twenties. So that is what I use. 90% of my stuff goes into this little guy. So my three pots that I use in my studio are these three. Now, let me just set them over here. Some other containers that I use for my like kawaii charms and just different stuff like that, that the big chunky stuff that we get. I use a lot of these type of containers. Now, these work great. I used to get them from Sheen. Um, I think I could try to find some similar type of ones on Amazon. And they work great. I use these for a lot of things. They hold in your drawer nicely. They just stack around. So I do use these. And they just have... They're just You just throw little stuff in them, honestly. For instance, I have some with teddy bears in it. And that's what I would use for that. Now, they also have a different version of this where it has grids. So, for, for example, this one here has little grids in it. I would use this for something as I'm using it for now is these are some magnetic flowers and they come in just little sets of two so it's perfect just to put in that little individual one could you put in one of these yeah you could it's this is just I had it why not use it for that right and that's really all I would use these for I do have them doing a couple other things that I'll show a little bit later but that is also a container that I use in my studio um, I think again I think from Sheen and this is also another size of container that works great. You, there's a lot of different things. You can put feathers in these. Again, you could use these for like your um, your teddies, your kawaii charms, any really big stuff that you have quite a bit of, I think. And you can mix, right? Um, work really well for these type of stuff. So I like them. I'm not opposed to using these. I've used a couple of these. These are pretty big. Um, I got these from Sheen a while ago. I don't use them often. I have used these little balls as little hanging things, but you can use the foils, the foil boxes also for storage for some of your charms. I think that would work really well as well. I have a couple of these that I use for stuff like this that like I might want to use or it's just kind of there and I haven't done anything with it, but you definitely could use these foil boxes as well for, for storage for charms. Okay, so another container. I like these containers for, I put um, Fimos in mine, I have, um, how do you call them, shaped crystals, I have a little box of shaped crystals, I think I, I probably have that out that I'll show you a little, a uh, little bit later. Some of my paper um, nail art that you get, like the little, I don't know, what do you call them? I don't even know what you call those guys. Just like nail art, confetti stuff, like these little paper guys I had to have like a little box for them that like this will probably grow more we get to like autumn and spring so I just kind of what I'd put them in like I said Fimos I would use that I have one for Fimos as well but you could use these for or I think they would work good for kind of your bigger charms. I don't know why I have a million hiccups going on here guys I'm so sorry but kind of your bigger charms the ones that you can pick out easily 
that if this whole thing fell on the floor, it's not going to produce your life. So, <laughs> but like I said, I don't know. It works pretty good. I have trouble with these for, okay. I almost gave you credit and then you just like broke on me. Did that really break? I think you did too. Son of a bitch. It did. That's annoying. I'm going to try to glue it, but if not, I don't even know how that broke. Oh, anyway, that sucks that that's even broken. A couple things I've seen broken today that I didn't realize was, but um, I was going to give a credit and say that none of it would ever come, come came to me cracked or anything, but hmm, I guess that hinge kind of didn't realize the hinge was a little broken there. Hopefully, actually glue won't even work with that because it has to turn. Anyways, um, for example, this... Um, could work for your bigger charms your bears probably even no, maybe not your bears but like you could put your flat backs you could put stuff like that in them a good container you could use definitely for anything you could use it for your charms your flat backs um all your mixed crystals and stuff like that so a good little go-to container when they don't come broken my biggest containers that i use in my studio that i have but house sorry a lot of and the most of my stuff are these containers from michael's these is what I use and they come in a box. You have a box with it. So I use it in the box. I keep them in the storage box. It works really well for me and all my charms and stuff. So that's really what I mainly use is this box holds 90% of my stuff um, besides some bigger stuff. So I do really love these. These are not the cheapest either. I think they're about $16, $17 on Michael's. Um, but you do get 24 plus the hard case. I don't have no clue where you could buy just the hard case. I've looked and I've never came across it. So if you do know, hey, leave that link down in the description or in the, sorry, in the comments. And that would be awesome because I've never seen just the outside container available before. So use them a lot. And then this would be the final one. I buy these. You can buy these at usually your local nail supply store. I got this at Jessica Nail Supply. And pretty standard big container. I use this for all of my extra large rhinestones, like my big body guys, the ones that have the backs that I have to take off. Like, so all my really, really extra large charms go into these type of styles. There's another one that I do use. I got it from Sheen. It is smaller. I honestly have not seen that though. I have not seen that one back on Sheen, but I haven't been, I haven't been on Sheen either. So they are a lot smaller as you can see. Um, I do like these. A couple of come broken, a couple I sent back, so it, it's a hit and miss. But I haven't seen these on Sheen for a while. So if you do know that they have them, let me know and I'll definitely grab that link for you guys or I'll, I'll check a little there. But these ones, like I said, they are a different size, they're a bit bigger. So, but similar concept works just as good. So I do have a local nail supply store that I can pick these up at that work great. Check your local nail supplies, check your craft stores, check things like that. Like those are where you're going to find your containers. Now another container, I haven't personally used it. I just got it in, I haven't even hauled it yet, is this container. It did unfortunately come broken. So the top is not gonna be able to like work for me. Oh, well, I did that upside down. Anyways, so it is, like I said, it came broken, but it comes with these little individual cases, which I'm not hating they're pretty tight which I like and then we have some just individual shapes so I'll definitely probably keep these in this little these little containers will I keep this container no it's, it's broken I don't think I have a use for something that's broken could I do they stay in well yeah I guess they do I could probably put a little top on it or something but and just say top bottom so that doesn't happen again what I just did but I was thinking I have a different way of storing these it'll work this is great I can bring it out it's not that crazy I don't mind spending a couple seconds to look for something that I know exactly where it is anyways so I rather like have my organization in like little parts of okay I know that that would be here take me two seconds to look through and see what that is uh, because look, that like opened up a lot of them. 
I'm just going to take a second here, guys, pick these up, and then, I'm sorry, we'll be right back. Okay, so like I said, if this did not come broken, this would be a great system. I would just leave this in it. I wouldn't move this. I wouldn't change it because, unfortunately, it came to me a little busted and my time is already gone because I've had it for a bit. I will probably use this other system for these, which I just have in my drawer. I have them all lined up. I just showed you guys in the beginning. This could work great, and it would just be mixed shapes. And I know that these are all crystals. Like I don't buy crystals that are not glass anymore. So all my 90, well, 99 probably percent of my crystals are all glass. Um, besides, like clusters and those type of things, I, I can't really control that. But any flatbacks like that, they're all glass now for the for the most part. So I just would set them in, put them all in here in those little containers, keep them in them, and that would work fine. If this worked in here, it would go in my other long drawer with like these type of things that I showed you earlier so that's how I, I personally would store that okay so these little things like I said they work good as well they're from Ikea I line them up in a drawer and I put mixed stuff in them for example like I said I put like my seashells they come in these little type of drawers so or sorry little containers that would work great if you have different charms, how I would organize that. If I had all like just different colored pinks and stuff, I would do a color coded to just make it easier. So you know when you're going for a pink, you could just grab it. That works great for glitter as well. If you don't have the room to you like put it all long ways in your drawer, you can use little containers and then just organize them in color. That way you know when you're going for a color, kind of what you can grab. This makes it a little easier. So that's always something. And like I said, last but not least, these containers, these containers I get from Dollar Tree. Um, and I just literally stack them up and you can get Dollar Tree is in the States as well. So I know that's somewhere I don't, I don't know if it's overseas in that, but they work great. Any little pull out system, you can kind of create a way bigger organization system and on a pretty good little budget. So be careful when you buy them, make sure you look at them well, you can get them cracked in that too. Okay. We're almost getting there. So this style of container I use for a couple things. I really use this for my Swarovski crystals. I don't have a lot of them. And because they're so small, I feel like it works great for me for that. Because I don't have a lot, so I just color coordinate them. So that's always a good way. These just flip up and you can get whatever you need out of it. So those containers work good. And I do use them for certain things. And then, like I said, these grid containers... I don't use these. I don't like them. I usually take anything out of them that I have. So if like something comes in this, I 90% of the time would take it out. If these were all different color flat backs and you get them in one of these, I definitely would transfer it over to something like this. And that's just me and how I feel. I just find that this is easier to open than this thing. And then this whole thing does come out. So a little bit safer, I guess. I don't know. And it looks better in my opinion, but that's just me. Now, if you want to keep these and you have a whole whack of them, I kept these in there. I do have my flowers stored in something different. I just haven't transferred them because it was brand new. I just took it out of the package. But something like this, I would keep it in. I would keep these individual Mickeys in this because it just doesn't make sense for me to take it out. There's not enough to transfer it anywhere. And they're... Oh, guys, I'm so sorry for that. And they're already individual. So to me, they're already at their colors. It makes sense that they stay where they are for this specific type of item, if that makes sense. So, and how I would store these in a drawer, again, with like the Ikea ones, the longer ones, that works great too. Or you can get these clear ones if you would rather clear acrylic. And then you could store them like this and just so on and so forth. That would be nice and neat in your drawer and then you could grab it and you could organize this into like flat backs, pointed backs, and just label the front. That could work as well. Um, for like crystals and stuff if you use these containers or keep these containers okay i think we covered that basis i think the last couple are like this style of container i'll show you guys so these style of containers i get from my local dollar store they're just like little grid containers they do work pretty okay i don't know i can test it i guess who cares for something like this as chains, I don't think it's going to move much, but okay, this is a great example. Do you see how this is already kind of moving? So I wouldn't use something like this for crystals, because if this does fall, they're all going to be mixed, so as long as you don't care about that, 
but something as big as chains if that fell it's they're not gonna like or upside down or whatever they're not gonna be too crazy so it would work and how i do that again kind of color coordinate put a little with this that like it doesn't have to be too crazy right they already kind of have your individuals and you can see everything so i feel like that works fine for something like this now even my dried flowers i use a container like this for i put all my dried flowers in something like that again they can get kind of mixed up especially these little ones that only like some of the little petals fall off but i also do and use it for my magnets those little puff balls that you get and stuff like that so i wonder if i turn these lights off guys might be a bit better so yeah right so there's a lot of different ways you can use different containers so i use certain i use certain containers for certain things because i feel like it still works and not everything has to be all individual right you can have like a cluster of something again like i said i showed you guys that i use these style of containers for like my, my females i have one for females these little cardboard things or whatever and then i also have this one here these are all the VDD ones that I have though, um, and they are, or the strass, there's a few strass in there too, um, they're all different shapes. So I did go ahead and these came in bags, so I put them in a container like this, and then that gets stored, actually gets stored with this style of container. So that's how I store that. Now, something like these containers, containers, we get these a lot. Sometimes they already have crystals in them, they come with stuff in them. These came with these little glitters in it, I only grabbed one. This is already, it's packaged for me. There's nothing I will do to this. I will literally put that in my glitter drawer and then that stay like that. Now if this came with charms and this is all I got, I got one package, I would leave it in it. It's perfectly fine. It's it's already gives you your storage. So you do not need to like take this out and re-put it in something else. It doesn't make sense. It makes complete sense to leave it in this. Do you know what I mean? Why move that out? There's not enough to go anywhere else. It already gives you your five grams. You can see everything you need in it and it comes with a little container so i personally would leave it alone it's what more could you ask for it it came in something right so that could also be something now let's talk like the big quiet charm and stuff like that so these type of things like bears and stuff like this i actually need a couple of these out but um that little baby set i'm doing um so something like this i mix them i put them all mixed i can go in here and be like okay i want a sugar one here's a sugar one do you know what i mean oh i want black i can see that they're big enough you can grab there's no reason to color coordinate these or anything like that it's just going to take up too much space in all truth like why have three little yellow this tone of yellow to this tone of yellowy orange it's easier just to have something that they're all in you can pick them as you grow your collection you're gonna find not every single little thing can be individual you could by all means but you're gonna run out of space very fast or you're just gonna be using a lot more stuff right so stuff like this mix it up and it's always fun to look at right so i use this specific container again i think it's from sheen it's a pretty thin um, little container I use these for a few different things, um, but yeah, something like this I would use it for, a different size one. Like here, I put all my Aurora paper in, it's just there, protected and safe, and then whatever these little kind of guys are. So, and then I have a drawer that all this goes in, so I kind of have an idea of where certain stuff is, because of how I organized it. And last but not least, I do use some of these, just these containers. Um... So this one, for instance, I had a, quite a bit, and I really have to do a set. I can't wait till we get a kawaii set in the game. Um, so these were my kawaii charms, and I just mixed them, because besides lollipops, in all truth, I put lollipops by themselves, and I'll put it here. So I put lollipops by themselves, because they're just huge. So I did just put like, these really massive ones in this little container by itself works fine and another thing with the bears like I, I was i was saying i do have a separate bears like these style of bears because i have quite a few if i only had three or four i would put them in with the bears it's just bears but this i feel like is more of a teddy bear and i do feel the other one's more of like a gummy bear so i do if you have enough i would mix i would sorry i would separate them if that makes sense and even in these style because these are pretty large so i would just put this like an extra large because she big 
and I did separate them and then even like these Gucci Kawaii's like they're separated so if you have enough of something you can definitely separate them into categories but until you get to that point it doesn't really make sense it makes sense more to keep them all in kind of together so like all the gummies they're gummy bears like teddy bears are teddy bears you know these are crazy lollipops um I call them just lollies and then here like I said these are all kawaii so this I would just take out if I had to do a kawaii set or you know somebody wanted it and just be like okay what do we want I'm not gonna go through and be like oh all M&Ms and all little things if I buy a pack of M&Ms for instance and I had a big amount or a good amount they could maybe go into the store I would still keep these ones in here I wouldn't go through that I'd be like that's that you know what I mean you don't want to make too much work for yourself so that's how I would organize like bigger kawaii chunky ones yeah they're just going all together okay so let's talk big big body charms and stuff like that first I want to quickly go in and say like something like spinners it's just different to me I love them so I just because I have a few of each I do put them in this little like I said um gridded box they don't move because there's a chunkier thing and then also something like this again this is kind of like a kawaii type of thing but I only have a few of them so I have a few skulls I only have a couple of these little cow heads and cows so they work fine for in there sometimes if you can find smaller spaces for a few things that you have that can also work too so this is just a mixed but more organized kawaii way if that makes sense but if you had a lot of these these also probably would go great in that style of container as well so check your local dollar stores i'm pretty sure dollar tree has something like that okay so now let's talk big body charms and really large crystals so We'll move the charms out of the way kind of thing. Now this I just started with, there's no, I don't put it by shape. I don't anything like that. I do kind of try to keep your sizes and if it's like just a mixed pack, I, you know, I don't go through and organize each color to each color. I don't have time for that. I can go through and pick one or two of the same out easily with my eye instead of going individual. That's when, that's when organizing gets tedious and it just, you lose your fun, right? When you get to too too crazy so these are like little water gems i kind of put them with these like little more coral crystally type of ones that works well for me i will line them up until they go i kind of like that system now the really really big guys again sorry for all the glare guys i don't we have a lot of light overhead um so these that come with the backs these are like sewing beads that's really what they are but I love them and you just take off the back. I take off the back because I'm telling you this will always get caught and it will annoy your life. So you can take off the back and you'll have a perfectly good crystal just like that to use on your nails. And that's exactly what that would look like if without the little claws on it. So this is how I store them. I don't take off the backs right away because what's the point? That's just extra work for me to do. Don't need to. It can stay there until I'm ready for it. So I just did here, I did all the gold backings here, a couple silver backings here. So this is all the backings. That's how I organize that. All the ones that already have backings on them that I'm going to have to take off, I just kind of put in here. You have some really large ones, you have some medium, and then you have some smaller ones. That's really about it. That's how I organize those ones. That's been working great for me for a while now. And then the ones that already come with no backs. So these guys again I try to keep how they come if they come with all one color I will keep all with one color mix I keep it mixed I don't go through and organize it like that to like go through that I'm, I'm, that's just too much I'm not doing that and then I keep try to keep the size with the size the shape with the shape but this is not overly that crazy in my brain I don't care if this gets mixed over there you know what I mean like if I see it I can be like okay you you live there but it's not that crazy because they're larger and they you can see when they move and you can pick them up and be like oh okay well you know what you kind of make sense like more there you know what I mean so it's not that that crazy but it's still organized enough in my brain if I know I'm going for something like this and I want like more big body this is the section I go into Whew, okay let's talk charms now again so I use this type of system for some of these charms not all you will see in my other systems that they also go into little things too but if I have quite a bit that I feel like in pods 
I'm gonna need like four or five pots then I don't right so I will just put them in something like this and I think that works really good so these are all ones that are just literally charms they already come with backings and stuff like that we have some that have letters and numbers like that little letter he doesn't live there he wanted to go for a stroll he lives over there so again I try to keep gold on one side silver on the other side and that's kind of how it goes when it meets then once it gets to a point where it meets there might be just a, I might just use a gold one and then have a silver one at that point but for now I mix them I'm not like I'm not going out spending all this extra money on another one just for that because I don't know if I'll ever grow the collection that big either right so I just mix them for now like I said if it gets to that point then you deal with it then now whew, goodness gracious we have these we have a lot of these Wow, that light actually is way better, eh? Probably for this, because that's a lot of glare. Okay, so now we have these styles. This, for instance, just says Christmas and Valentine's Day. They're mixed, because I don't have a lot of each. So I would use these little things for females. I have females. I have some very chunky, like, sequences in there. Um, the hearts... Again, we have some paper, but it's more on the Christmas side. So I that's how I would organize like my holidays. Now, this is getting full. So if I get a lot more stuff for this Valentine's Day, Valentine's hearts and certain stuff might get their own little um, box. And then again, flowers, bows. I just keep them together. There's no have to stay over here, have to stay over here. I would like them to, but... The things get moved around but they do have the labels on the side so I know what it is when I'm looking through the drawer I don't really have to pay attention and look what's in it I can just look at the side and say okay I know what that is if that makes sense now again for all my pearls they would stay in here if it comes in a mixed package it stays mixed nothing too crazy I don't care about sizes and things like that. I just know that this is all just basically pearls. Some things we have a variety of things because it's just too many individual little things to put in to one thing, right? So this is just a variety. It says variety. We have some lollipops, some quail type of things. Um, what do we have there? Strawberries, some liquor bottles, some Coke bottles, you know what I mean? Some little things that I've made. So it's just a variety of different things, and that's what I have in it. So when I'm like, okay, what is this? Where would that be, right? There. Um, a little bit, okay. So when I have something that I feel is a certain thing, like I feel like these all give me very vintage vibes. So I put this under vintage, and that's just how I categorize them. I do try to keep my silver with silver and gold with gold, but if they mix like this, I'm perfectly fine. You have to have almost 10 or more to get your own pot, or you will be mixed with something, and that's how I feel. Again, your pointed backs, they're all just in the same thing, and I labeled it that way. I'd put these in a drawer, like if I was doing the drawer system like this with them. Again, it would just say pointed backs, mix all the colors, not that crazy. Something like these, all these different shapes and stuff like that. Sometimes you get these little things that all come together. I literally just put it in here and just put mixed shapes. Like it's just too much. Anything that's mixed with gold and silver, like if it's just something that has both on it or it's something that I bought one gold and one silver of and it's just not enough and I just mix it. I just mix the gold and silver together and I put it under a gold and silver um, container. So that's how that works for me because sometimes you don't want to have so many like three things in one pot you know what I mean so you have to find ways to not use a million pots but also find it easy enough to grab it these are very easy to grab but I know if I want a silver I just grab a silver if I know I want a gold I just grab the gold right so you have to kind of like see what works for you in that way I do have just gold and I do have just silvers okay so also like I said like I do have ones for silver and ones just for gold and then I have ones for like your animals because you will get like little animals like your little teddies and stuff like that so 
if that makes sense as well I don't know and then I have some that are just like for designer so I really do use those pots for everything I do like the storage boxes that they come with now last but not least before I let you guys go like I said a couple just different storage for small spaces they have these polish um, little cases that I used to get and before I put my polishes in the drawer and I just had an idea so these are them um, they do open let me pull you guys out some so they open one side and they also open on the other side so you can buy these at Amazon I that's where I've gotten mine and I just checked and they will fit four 10 gram pots in them so if you are small space you don't have drawers like some places you just can't even get the Ikea drawers or it's just too much um again I don't think these are not the cheapest but I think they're about 20 30 dollars a piece but you could get quite a bit if this was like your glitter system if that's something you wanted to do if you wanted to have like again you could just label the side and that could be like this isn't your animal little row or whatever right label the top or just label your um containers and you could be able to see what you need and grab them so I feel that that actually would work well and then there these things store really easy so I think that would be a great storage system or solution to hold a lot of charms to if for small spaces because you can get a whole whack of these beside a desk in a closet you know that could work as well so or your glitter that could also work if you want to use the pots for your glitter so I think that's it I think I really I really wanted to be thorough and cross all my T's and dot all my I's and stuff like that um Again, there is a lot of systems, there's a lot of different ways. This is just a few things that I use. I do have some other clear acrylic. Um, these little drawers, I'll put a picture up in the side there. If you watch my, um, my desk tour, they're on the side of my desk and they hold stuff like this. But that's kind of just what I use. I'll try to leave links of things that, things that I think could, you could use. And then yeah, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's going to give you some sort of idea of how to organize your stuff or what you could and maybe should try or and all that good stuff. So thank you so, so much. If you haven't hit that subscribe, I know it's a long one. I hope you're still here. And thank you so, so much to everybody. Love you. See you in the next one. Bye.